Governor Hutchison says low income residents who pay taxes will get a $60 non refundable tax credit. But some lawmakers argue that amounts to only pennies a day and that the savings would be better spent elsewhere. But Hutchison says it all adds up. We're in an incredible position in our state with a savings account, with having teacher pay increases, uh, investing the largest amount a decade in education and still having tax cuts. Within a few hours of passing both the House and Senate with an emergency clause to take effect immediately, Governor Asa Hutchinson signed the largest tax cut in state history into law. Everybody in Arkansas to celebrate. Starting in 2022, the current top income tax rate of 5.9% will drop to 5.5%. The rate will continue to drop over the next four years until it reaches 4.9% in 2025. But certain triggers included in the law say the cuts past year 2022 will only occur if money is not needed from the catastrophic reserve fund to pay for shortfalls and state programs. Hutchinson says it makes sense that those who pay the most taxes will see the biggest savings. And he says having a $60 non-refundable credit for low income earners helps. Just because you have that $60 tax credit means that there's 100,000 Arkansans that were that was paying taxes that will have their taxes eliminated because of this reform effort. It's important that they're working and they're rewarded for that work, but we're reducing the tax burden for that. And uh, a low income individual everything makes a difference. Some Democratic legislators argued the estimated $500 million in taxpayer savings would be better spent investing in more government programs. Shouldn't we prioritize the support of families with infant and toddlers during early childhood when children's brains are developed 85% or after school and summer programs for those children needing extra help or a safe place to stay? And so I'm just wondering if you think 16 cents Additionally, a day is meaningful relief for Arkansas at that and um, lower income. They're making the case that they would rather trust government to spend the money wisely versus putting it in the pockets of individuals. Pointing to reduced taxes on used cars and eliminating some taxes on groceries. Hutchison says those laws all helped low income Arkansans. And he says so will the new tax cuts. We ought to give more people more control over their money and their lives, and that's what we're doing by these tax cuts. Hutchinson also signed a bill into law that gives tax credits for some recycling programs. It's all meant to help land a new steel manufacturer in Arkansas, and with it, hundreds of new jobs. In Fort Smith, Brett Rains, 4029 News.